Hey, Silver Tubers, it's Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench on Monday evening. I just wanted to go over some pickups I made today and a couple of packages that came in the mail. So, pretty excited about it all. Uh, I have been working half days, and so second half of the day I have to find something to occupy myself that's low stress. Mm. And what could be more low stress than picking up silver? So we'll start with the pickups. I picked up a sheet here of 1982 Engelhard rounds, still in the original packaging. These are the E's, the e back, And uh, I have a full tube, and I didn't think about that when I picked these up, but the price I picked them up at, I couldn't resist, and so I picked them up. They're sealed in packaging. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. So, um, But that's pickup number one. Nice little five ounces there. Um, I picked up a, continuing on with the coin collection, I picked up a really nice 1961 Germany, uh, German five mark, um, fünf mark. So it is a nice little addition to the coin collection of my German coins. Um, going along with this one, I also picked up another, I cannot not, I can't resist these when I see them. Um, this is another Funt mark. Um, this is a Reichsmark. And so this is a 1936. I have several of these. Uh, I can't resist them because they're chunky and they've got the edge writing. And I love that. And so I picked up that along, along the line with my German silver. I picked up a rather large, uh, very nicely uh, preserved um, two and a half Gulden, uh, 1964. Uh, it's 720 um, silver, and I just couldn't get over the mint luster on this, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, ought, to, ought to go nicely in the coin book. And so, and lastly for coins, I picked up this little one right here. Uh, I don't, ha I didn't have one of these, and so this is a Salvadorian 1943 Salvadorian 25 centavos. Uh, it's got a little bit of. Uh, schmutz on the back there age uh, but overall it was in great shape and so I thought I would pick it up um, I like it and so those were my pickups for the day now let's get on to the packages like I said before I normally do uh, individual unboxings but I don't really have the energy right now to record you know three and four videos a night and so uh, this first one is from my man Michael uh, that we all know as Pit Bouillon. I sent him a package a while ago with some coins to uh, Blacken uh, to continue on with my Blacken series. And so, um, let's see here. Let's see what this says. I've got a sticker and a COA or a card. And I now have a Pit Bouillon sticker on the front of the vault just to let everybody know and, uh, and it says the note says thanks Zeke the Don now he is the Don so let's see how these black and coins turned out I need to find out where people get these mailers because they're really really cool so let's have a look and see what the Don did to my coins and so I sent him two of them and all right Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I sent him the two ounce. I sent him the uh, Griffin. And I sent him the uh, red, uh, red red, Dragon of Wales. And there is the antique or blackened red dragon of Wales. And man, as with all the other ones I've sent him, the detail just cranks out uh, when you have them blackened. It's quite amazing what it does to the coin. Um, you know, I, I try to or always order two, uh, cause I know that one is going to get blackened. And so, and I've got some air tights for these on the way, uh, that fit these cause they don't fit in those slabs. But even, I mean, even blackening, look what it does to the reeded edge. It gives such contrast to it. And so there is the red dragon, the blackened red dragon of Wales. And so there's number one. And number two is, I don't need that, that's cardboard. 
Well, if you put a little separator in there. Come on. And here is the Griffin that has been blackened. So two more blackened coins. Uh, and the Griffin also is just smashing once it's been blackened. I like them raw, but I really like this series blackened because it allows me to see way more detail than I would normally see um, if they hadn't been blackened. And if I'm going to have them blackened, there's only one place I send them, and that's my man Pit Bullion in Vegas because he knows what he is doing. And so there are the next two. So, so far I have two of each, one blackened and one natural. And the blackening really just, I mean, it, it knocks it out of the ballpark. So, and I can touch them after they've been blackened. And so, and, and that's the other part too, is even with blackening, you get minor differences in, in the coins uh, as far as how blackened, how much of the blackening they take. So, thanks to Michael at Pit Bullion for blackening these for me. Um, I appreciate it beyond words I can't express and I got another package that I was not expecting I've already pre-scored the end of this this is from Mimaru um, and I have no idea what's in it um, so I'm gonna pull this out of here make sure I don't miss anything in the envelope, the envelope make sure there's no note or anything um, and I have no idea what this is and so Let's, uh, I was not expecting this. I don't know what this is. And so I'm going to very gingerly uh, open this. I don't want to damage anything inside. I'm just not sure. This was unsolicited. I didn't expect this. And so it's always kind of interesting when you get something that wasn't, you know, you didn't know was coming. And so... Let's, uh, and it, it's very, I'm not sure what, what I'm looking at here. It almost looks like a, a DVD. Oops, I bumped the camera. Uh, it looks like a DVD with some coins. Um, oh, wow. What, what is, <laughs> what is this? This is a behind the scenes at the Royal Canadian Mint DVD with Stephen Bromberg. Uh, president of Canadian Coin and Currency um, hosted. This is a video about the Canadian Mint, the Royal Canadian Mint, and that is actually right up my uh, right up my alley. I love watching. You know, I search YouTube for mint videos because, and there is some coinage with this. Um, oh, look at that! A 1964 uh, Kennedy hat. A 1964 uh, Rosie, a 1961 uh, Washington, and this one, if I'm not mistaken, is, yeah, it's a Merc, and my gosh, is it a Merc. It is in phenomenal condition. I, uh, whoa, that was a slight earthquake. I don't think I've seen a Rosie in this kind of condition. Uh, get the camera to focus here. Look at the look at the condition on this Rosie, Mimaru. You did not have to do this. This was a pleasant surprise. Wow. Well, look at that. What a day. What a day. What a wonderful day. Look at that. 1964 Rosie in capsules, nonetheless. And these are the heavy duty capsules. These have the ridges. Uh, very nice, nicely, nice conditioned coins. Thank you so very much, my friend. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Such generosity. I appreciate this greatly. I will uh, treasure these. These will go in my community box. They will not go in my tubes. And now I am going to watch this. Uh, I wish I could bring you all along, but I uh, don't think you would watch the whole video with me. So, but I sure will. So I'd like to say thank you to Mimaru for that. I was not expecting any of this, and it is 
beyond beyond uh, beyond generous. I appreciate it greatly. And Pitt, thanks for getting these to me. Uh, I love them. I can't wait to stick them in air tights and put them with the rest of my blackened my blackened box. I have a box that has nothing but blackened coins in it. And so, look at them. The way the reading just rolls around like a couple of gears. So, anyway, that's Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench uh, with today's pickups and some wonderful, wonderful items in the mail. So, cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.